Hey, what is up, everybody? CJ Hawk 85 here, and well, it's been a very long time I've talked about the Eagles, the Birds. So, for those of you that don't know or may know, um, last season I did uh, NFL predictions and previews and reviews of each week from weeks one to the Super Bowl. Um, apparently. For the last several months, I have not done any previews and uh, predictions about the NFL season. I don't know. It's just, I just wasn't, I just didn't have enough time doing it. Because around September, I was like extremely busy with work and personal life. And, you know, hanging around my friends as much as I could. Um, and yes, I've been doing my Let's Plays because my Let's Plays is like, you know, the forefront of this channel. And yes, I did on the side NFL predictions as well on one channel. Um, probably next year I will open up another account and probably another YouTube channel and do NFL predictions there next season. So, for those of you that have seen my Madden NFL 16, 17, and 18 uh, season modes or my career modes, whatever you want to call it, um, I've always played as myself as the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. It's ironic that now that my Eagles, my bur the Philadelphia Eagles, the underdogs, are now in the Super Bowl. So, tomorrow night is the big game. The underdogs, the Philadelphia Eagles against the New England Patriots. Yeah, the, that New England Patriots team. So, what do I think overall? Well, I wasn't quite sure after Carson Wentz got hurt and we won the division. I was a bit concerned. I was saying to myself, it's awesome we got into the playoffs, but at what cost? And we won the division. But, man, that, that game with Carson Wentz getting hurt, torn his ACL... That was a bitter pill to swallow, but luckily we got Nick Foles. Now I will admit something. He played good in uh, week 15 against the Giants. He played pretty well. Week 16, no. Uh, he won that game, yes. He did great on Christmas Day. And that was the, like what, the final game of week 16? He didn't play very well against the Oakland Raiders in, on Christmas Day. That one loss against the Cowboys, it was just a, it was a nothing game. It was a nothing game. I'll admit that. Um, we were all concerned about heading towards the playoffs. Would the Eagles be one and done? They took care of the Falcons. We were the underdogs then. And we were a bit concerned about the Minnesota Vikings. And... Looked like Minnesota was going to go to the Super Bowl. They were like a really good team. I thought they were pretty good. But to be honest, Case Keenum, he's more of a journeyman. But it looked like that Minnesota were the favorites to beat us. And we annihilated them in Philadelphia in that NFC Championship. Now, on to my Super Bowl 52 prediction. Do I believe my Philadelphia Eagles can do this and pull off a big upset against the New England Patriots? I will say this. I am more confident that they can pull off this upset now than I did back in 2004 with Andy Reid and Donathan McNabb as the quarterback. Doug Peterson has done a marvelous job this season. And I'm very proud of him. And I'm very proud of the coaching staff to get everybody on that roster prepared. Because everybody in that roster is a star, in my opinion. And we did it without Carson Wentz to get to the Super Bowl. I didn't think we'd make it to the Super Bowl, but we're at the Super Bowl playing against the Patriots. It's the GOAT. 
the greatest head coach of all time, they call him, Bill Belichick. Doug Peterson has got to be aggressive. He's got to be the most aggressive he's ever been in his life. The Eagles defense and offense, in order to beat the Patriots, they got to beat the Patriots until there's zero seconds left on the clock in the fourth quarter. It's like what Hacksaw Jim Duggan says. Attack, attack, attack. Ho! I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be being a comedian or anything. I'm just telling you what Hacksaw Jim Duggan used to say back in the day. Attack, attack, attack. And that's exactly what the Eagles have to do. Attack, attack, attack. Show no mercy. Don't give any breathing room for Tom Brady. Frustrate the living hell out of him. Until there's zero seconds left on the clock in the fourth quarter. But to be honest, I think this is going to be a really close game. But I, I will say this. With this victory, it's not only the first Super Bowl in Philadelphia. The first ever Vince Lombardi trophy. Our curse will be broken and not only that, the Philadelphia Eagles will finally hit the pinnacle of the sports world. That's how much it means to me. Now, what would be great for my birthday? In a couple weeks, my birthday will be coming up. And this will be my birthday present. Just to see the Philadelphia Eagles win the Super Bowl. I mean, in my lifetime, I've seen my New Jersey Devils, my favorite hockey team, have won three Stanley Cups. I've seen my baseball team, the Philadelphia Phillies, win the World Series. Tomorrow night, I would love to see the Philadelphia Eagles win the Super Bowl. And once that happens, I will die a happy man. I will feel like that my life is complete. That all my three of my favorite teams that I root for in baseball, hockey, and football have won major championships. I'll die happy man. <coughs> they need this win. The Eagles deserve this more. It's time. To get a Vince Lombardi trophy in the city of brotherly love. And to me, there is no tomorrow. They got to win this game, in my opinion. They got to pull this upset off against the New England Patriots. And I say to myself, can they do it? I believe they can. Like I said before, I feel more confident now that they can win the Super Bowl than I did back in 2004. Because Andy Reid was a good coach, but he was not the type of coach that would take us to the next level. He wasn't an aggressive coach at all. Doug Peterson is. And he's done a marvelous job of turning this thing around. It took him two seasons to do this. After that misery with the Chip Kelly era. Don't even get me started with that one. And the Eagles just did a complete 1080. And it took two years. And guess what? Tomorrow night they're playing in the Super Bowl against the New England Patriots. It was like the team that came out of nowhere. That you didn't expect that was going to host the Super Bowl against the Patriots. So... This is going to be very interesting. And I really hope the Eagles can pull this off and beat the Patriots. But we'll see what happens. So, my final words. Fly, Eagles, fly tomorrow night. So that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like, subscribe, favorite. I am CJHawk85. I'll see you guys later.